Solo travel in New York City with me. Hey, it's your homegirl Lena Ma, and today I wanted to check out some of the vintage spots nearby. So I headed to Bushwick Market first. Lots of plants, antiques, jewelry, old cameras available here. Then I headed to a shop called Other People's Clothes. The prices were reasonable, but all that shopping's made me hungry, so of course I headed for some pizza. This was huge, I couldn't even pick it up. This is from Artichoke Pizza, I'm gonna give this a solid 8 out of 10. Then I headed to L Train Vintage, and as you can see, it's massive and really, really cheap. They have a second store called Urban Jungle nearby, which is even bigger. The amount of stuff they had was a little bit overwhelming, that I had to just go to the park and get some tacos this was spicy but it was hitting on the spots and then that evening i took myself on a little solo date and yes more food headed to a restaurant called bubba cool and i've got to say this was one of the crispiest juiciest chickens i've ever had in my life last stop for the night was this little cocktail jazz bar called saint Maisie's. really nice atmosphere and live music here definitely worth checking out and is it just me or does anyone else find their subways a little bit confusing too many numbers and 